Jess is only in the eighth grade, but she's already gaining a lot of recognition all over the world for her writing. Her novel, Sword Bird, and here it is right here, debuted on the New York Times bestsellers list, and she's currently working on her second book. We're thrilled to have her here today. Please welcome 13-year-old author Nancy Yi Fan. that you are you know I love birds too oh, really? I do I do um, uh, you have written a book that has really become uh, the object of a lot of admiration and also um, have a very wide readership now what do you think at 13 well I'm I don't know how to describe it because I can't say I'm excited, but, you know, thrilled. because excited is just too plain a word to say yeah, it. Thrilled. And when an author, when an author <laughs> tells you, you can't describe it in words, you know, how that is. Yeah, it's very, ex well, it's very exciting for you. And, uh, and uh, this is, uh, what inspired you to write a book like this? Um, it's a fable, by the way. Um, the inspira inspiration came from um, many places, like the forest near my home, my love for birds, uh, my social studies classes about wars. Um, well, you know, I also read lots of magazines on 911 terrorism. And personally, I was on the tower, on the obser observatory deck, um, two months before they were down. So, uh, right, that, at, right at the World Trade Center? Yes. Oh. Um, and so that was, that left a big impact on me. And just one day, all of those things just kind of whirled into a dream. And um, so in it, the Cardinals and the Blue Jays were wearing old-fashioned clothing, and they were fighting at war. And especially um, that there was um, a huge white magical bird with a sword, sword bird. And when I woke up from the dream, I turned it into a story because I wanted to express the importance of peace and freedom. Oh, excellent. Now. Um how long did it take you to write? It took me about a year. Um, I mean, I wrote every day and on weekends, and I did my homework as fast as I could, but I did it very carefully because schoolwork is number one priority. <laughs> um, uh, writing is just um, came natural to me, so so I guess it didn't took me very much. Well, not too long. And, and so all the characters yes. um, are birds. Yep. Uh, there are hawks, and there are. Um, save your birds, and there are the the cardinals and the and the uh, blue jays. But uh, there are lots of other kinds of birds too. Um, as a result of the, all your interest in birds, by the way, uh, the Audubon Society has sent over a gift for you because oh. they're thrilled with you popularizing our feathered friends. And um, I, I'm very curious about now. How did you write on a computer? Um, I wrote, I usually write on a Spyro notebook because those are easy to carry around. Um, I, some, I wrote sometimes on a school bus, in a tree. I liked to climb trees when I was smaller. And um, I just wrote on, on paper, but I like to write on computer too, but there's one drawback to that. It's that whenever I write on the computer, I'm so tempted just to delete rewrite it delete and so um, oh, so it's if it's in the notebook you can edit it yes. more carefully I can um, now, like, do you have birds at home oh yes I oh, do like I have what? three pet birds um, one of them is on the back of the cover A parakeet. yes parakeet and there um, I also have um, a mina um, that's plap and also a white bird yeah and they talk any of them talk? Does the mina talk to you? Yes. Yes? How many yes. words? Um, you can say in Chinese, um, well, hello, boss, in Chinese. <laughs> um, oh, but I didn't teach him. I bought him, and he was speaking that way. I like that. And you can say, um, um, good fortune. Can you just give a synopsis of the, of the uh, book for our audience so that they know uh, what they're going to be reading? Sure. Um, the cardinal in, in this it's the cardinals and blue jays have been tricked by an evil hawk named Turnat, and once they realize the truth, they band together. Um, even so, they can't drive him away. So they turn to Swordbird, who is like this magical creature, um, the guardian of peace. Um, but he, they don't know if he's real or is he just a legend. And so basically, this story is like how with uh, bravery, hope, and resourcefulness, the good can rise above the evil. 
Now, wouldn't you love if all 13-year-olds thought like this? And I think, actually, I think many do and haven't expressed themselves. But it's up to us to um, read your books, to uh, give these kinds of stories to our children so that uh, everybody can understand how, how deeply concerned you are. And you are very concerned, it seems, as I read the story, uh, with resolution of all of the world's problems. That's really fantastic. Now, uh, what are some of the things you do to help you with your writing? Um, I do lots of things. Um, I uh, draw before I write because, you know, when I draw the scenes, I think it kind of helps me describe them better. It's like I'm transmitting the picture into words, and so when the readers read it, it forms the exact same picture in their minds. At least I hope it does. And um, I also do um, short play, which is kind of like a martial arts thing. Um, it, I think that helps me to, with my, you know, the fighting scenes that I write. And um, so, and I also sometimes I just act out what they, what um, happens in my book. I remember when sometimes I got so carried out w away that I just left my computer, ran about leaping and <laughs> acting out through what the characters are doing as quietly as I could and I made sure nobody was watching. And um, I would rush back <laughs> to write it all down. And um, I find that that was helpful too. Do you think you're a sword bird? Well, <laughs> you look like Swordbird in that clip. Oh, really? Did, oh, I thought I thought so. Are these your drawings in the book? No, they're done by Mark Zug. Um, I think lots of kids know Mark Zug because he does the Wizard of a Coast trading cards. Oh, yes. Now, do you think this is going to be a movie? Well, I don't know, but I really hope so. I think it would I be mean, a great movie. Yeah. It really would. Swordbird is in the stores now, and everyone in our studio audience is getting a copy. Please enjoy. Let us know what you think. Thank you so much, Nancy. Good luck with everything you do. It's really nice. We'll be right back.